Lord our God, I come before you once more to offer to you my prayers. I have made my pleas to you again and again, and each moment I do. The more my faith increases, that you are truly the God of life and of love. However, there have been a number of times also that I failed to call on you, that I failed to love my neighbors, that I failed to keep my promises, that I failed to ask for pardon and to give pardon to others, that I failed to give thanks for all the blessings that come my way. And yet, in all these moments, you are ever present, O Lord, to remind me that you are just around to take me back once more, if I will but come to you. By meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary, especially in this novena, in honor of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval, may I be led to find your presence in my life as Mother Mary found it in her own life, in every mystery of my joy, in every mystery of my light, in every mystery of my sorrow, in every mystery of my glory, may I be able to recognize you, and that I may know you are indeed the Emmanuel, the God who is with us, now and forever. Amen. Behold the faithful and wise servant whom the Master has placed over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him splendid garment. Let us pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of our salvation, when Mary conceived your Son and brought him forth into the world, you placed him under Joseph's watchful care. May his prayers still help your church to be an equally faithful guardian of your mysteries and a sign of Christ to mankind. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all stand. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you. And after saying this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy at seeing the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. Please, O Neil. O Mother Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval, the resurrection of the Lord was good news not only for you, but also for the apostles and all those people who have kept their faith in Him. In the sight of the whole world, the Lord has revealed Himself in glory, the glory that brings peace. Pray, O Mother Mary, that I may have a share in this glory. What good could passing pleasure bring me if my life is bare of meaning? What good could come from praises, from riches, from greatness, if I find no direction in life? What would it profit me to have everything, O Mother Mary, if I remain a slave of sin? This is not what I seek. What I seek is a new life, a new life where I would find the peace which the resurrected Lord brings. Pray for me, O Mother Mary. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In silence, let us now offer to God the personal petitions we wish to obtain through the intercession of the Queen of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Queen of the Holy Rosary, Our Lady of Lenaval, we gather as one people in celebration of a battle fought and won, a vow made and fulfilled, a time remembered and held dear, a miracle experience and kept alive, love received and returned, your patronage sought and thanked for, God praised, God adored. Mahal naming ina, as our lips move in whispered prayers, our hands over beads, our knees bent, our eyes look up to you. We plead for your mercy, your grace, your love. O Mother of Peace, give birth to God in our hearts, give birth to peace in our world, give birth to the Word who heals all strife, conquers sin with love, overcomes death, brings us life. As once you interceded for the victory of faith in these islands, pray for us now in our struggle for truth and justice, for peace and love in Christ. O Queen of the Philippines, in your loving hands you hold Jesus, our God, our King, our Savior. You hold him for us to adore and serve, to love and find salvation in. O Mother and Queen, our hearts may be small, but our love is enormous, and we ask you to come and take your place in us, in the company of your beloved Son, to bless us with your abiding presence, to fill us and keep us in your love and protection, to lead us in the eternal fiat and magnificat to God. In his name we gather. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated.
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And now let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us first recall our sins. Let us be sorry for them. And let us ask God for forgiveness. Let us now humbly acknowledge our sinfulness before God and before one another. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. And as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your Son in human form, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, after 14 years, I again went up to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along also. I went up in accord with a revelation, and I presented to them the gospel that I preached to the Gentiles, 
but privately to those of repute, so that I may not be running or have run in vain. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter to the circumcised, for the one who worked in Peter, for an apostolate to the circumcised, worked also in me for the Gentiles. And when they recognized the grace bestowed upon me, James and Cephas and John, who were reputed to be pillars, gave me and Barnabas their right hands in partnership that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Only we were to be mindful of the poor, which is the very thing I was eager to do. And when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he clearly was wrong. For until some people came from James, he used to eat with Gentiles. But when they came, he, beca he began to draw back and separated himself because he was afraid of the circumcised. And the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him, with the result that even Barnabas was carried away by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not on the right road, in line with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas in front of all, If you, though a Jew, are living like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Let us all stand. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who are indebted to us and do not subject us to the final test. Brothers and sisters, 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. As I have said a while ago, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And when we celebrate this, we don't only remember Mary and her powerful intercession, but also the Rosary, a very powerful prayer. Now, many of us Christians sometimes think that we are putting Mary in equal footing with Christ. Parang pinapantay natin si Maria. Kasi nga sa ating Ibanghelyo, Jesus taught His disciples the Lord's Prayer. And He prayed that prayer Himself. Ngayon, meron naman tayong rosary na parang tinatawag nating Marian Prayer na parabang ito rin ay patungkol kay Maria just as the Our Father is about Jesus and His prayer to God. So in order to clarify matters, dapat isipin natin, hindi itinuro ni Maria ang rosary. Ikalawa, hindi rin siya nagdasal ng rosary. Okay? Hindi niya dinasal na Hail Mary, full of grace. Nakakatuwa, di ba? Parang very proud siya sa sarili niya. So it was not Mary who taught us the rosary. Rather, it is the desire of Christians in all generations to honor Mary by praying the rosary. The rosary is a very biblical prayer kasi lahat ng sinasabi natin halos lahat nasa Biblia. Hail Mary, full of grace. Andun yan sa Biblia. Holy Mary, nasa Biblia. Glory be, nasa Biblia. And the other prayers are from tradition. Like Hail Holy Queen from the 12th century. Yung dasal na Oh my Jesus, di nagdagyan after the miracle in Fatima. So my dear friends, bakit inuulit-ulit natin tong dasal na ito? Alam niyo para sa akin, ganito kung paano kung maunawaan ang rosaryo at ang paulit-ulit na pagdarasal nito na kung minsan sinasabihan tayo ng mga born again and protestants, kayo, mga dasal niyo, paulit-ulit lang. Okay? Parang hindi nang gagaling sa puso. Ganito po ang pag-unawa ko ng rosaryo. At kung bakit natin ito inuulit-ulit. Minsan may nagtanong sa akin, Father, how old are you? Bueno, kung sa babae siguro, hindi nila itatanong yan. Sabi nila, how young are you? Kasi ayon ng kababaihan na malaman yung edad nila. Or at least most of them. No? So, how old are you? So, sabi ko, I'm already 67 years old. No? At sabi niya sa akin, Nako, tagal po na palang nabubuhay. No? Father, ang dami mo ng blessings, etc., etc. And then, ang sabi ko sa kanya, actually, I don't measure my life in years. Kasi pag ganun, mafufrustrate lang ako, madidepress. Kasi ang dami ng taong nagdaan sa buhay ko. Malapit na ako sa hukay. I don't measure my life in years. I measure my life in moments. Bakit? Sa pagkong iisipin natin, yung years, months, weeks, days, 
yung mga yan ay paraan lamang ng pagsukat ng panahon. Measures of time. But we don't live our life in years. We live our lives in moments. Katulad ngayon, this is a moment. See? And the moment becomes meaningful if you are really mindful of it. If you put meaning in it. If you put value in it. A moment does not disappear or fade in time. When we put value, meaning, through a wonderful experience that happens in that moment, we can relieve isa sa buhay natin paulit-ulit through our memory. See? Kaya nga binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng memory so we can recall happy moments. What is the mass? The mass is nothing but a memory. See? Nung sinabi ni Jesus, do this in memory of me. Parang sinasabi niya sa atin, when you do this thing, In this moment, you remember me. See? Ganyan ang tingin ko sa rosaryo. It is remembering the moments in the lives of Jesus and Mary. Moments that have become meaningful and valuable for us. Why? Because those moments, when we recall, when we remember them, What happens, we somehow obtain grace. We obtain the presence of Jesus in our life. See? So, ganyan ang dapat pag tayo nagdarasal ng rosaryo. Parang ang inuulit-ulit natin are moments in the lives of Jesus and Mary. Joyful moments. Sorrowful moments, moments filled with light, moments filled with glory. Alam niyo minsan, natanong ko yung isang security person namin dito na matagal nang narito at nagbabantay. Sabi ko sa kanya, anong ginagawa mong 8 hours ang duty mo? Kung minsan 12 hours pa, anong ginagawa mo? Nung minsan po, bored na bored ako. Tinitingnan ko laging oras ko. Nako, limang oras pa, apat na oras pa, tatlong oras pa. Later, nung nakita niya yung mga taong nagsisimba, nakikinig, nagdarasal, especially when they're praying the rosary, ginawa na rin niya, nagdasal siya ng rosaryo. He has the luxury of time. Hindi man niya magawa ang gusto niyang gawin. He has all the moments to pray the rosary. At ang sabi niya, hindi ko alam kung bakit kinikritisize nilang masyado yung pagdarasal natin ng paulit-ulit. Pero para sa akin, the rosary has made me better. A better father, a better husband. See? Ganon din yung isa kong kakilala na mainitin ang ulo, lalo na sa traffic. Pag traffic na kung minsan napapamura daw siya kung ano-anong iniisip niya until finally he heard sa isang station the praying of the rosary. So, kumuha siya, dinagay niya sa kanyang cellphone at every time may traffic, pinapakinggan niya ron. And all Throughout the journey, he's listening to the rosary and praying with that. So my dear friends, do not count our lives in years, in weeks, in months. Kasi mabobor lang tayo. Count your days or your life in moments. Sabi nga nung isang poet, don't count the moments in your life. Make every moment count. See? And we make every moment count when we offer it to Jesus through Mary. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now all stand to offer our petitions to the Father. Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for His Mother. Let us ask Him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, make your church of one mind and one heart in love, and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, Mother of Unity. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace, Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your peace and justice in their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials Feel her motherly love and care, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You gave Mary strength at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your Son. Lighten the hardships of those who are burdened and deepen their sense of hope, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. King of kings, you lifted up your mother, body, and soul into heaven. Help us to fix our thoughts on things above, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our blessed mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially the healthcare providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may, through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions, and for the intentions of the Lanaval devotees, friends, and benefactors, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord God, give to your people the joy of continual health in mind and body. With the prayers of the Virgin Mary to help us, Guide us to the sorrows of this life, to eternal happiness in the life to come. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept these gifts as we celebrate the mysteries of your Son. May we become worthy of the eternal life He promised, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Mary received your word in the purity of her heart and conceiving in her virgin womb, she gave birth to our Savior and nurtured the church at its very beginning. She accepted God's parting gift of love as she stood beneath the cross and became the mother of all those who were brought to life to the death of her only son. She joined her prayers with those of the apostles as together they awaited the coming of your spirit to become the perfect pattern of the church in prayer. Praise to the glory of heaven, Mary cares for the pilgrim church with a motherly love, following its progress homeward until the day of the Lord dawns in splendor. And so together with the angels and the saints, we proclaim your glory as we sing. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. <coughs> he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray as Jesus prayed. Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the fulfillment of our blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus in the Eucharist, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. I, my soul, shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at this spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, La Naval de Manila, pray for us. 
Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican saints and blessed. Pray for us. Let us all stand. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this Eucharist, we have proclaimed the death and resurrection of Christ. As we remember these mysteries in the life of Jesus and Mary in the Rosary, help us to proclaim them to your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to receive God's blessings. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem us, be pleased to enrich you with all his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere her protection, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered today in this church carry away with you the blessings of spiritual joys and many heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God.